Hi there, now I'm going to show you how to use images instead of X's and O's as the t and the text property of buttons uh, in your GUI. So whenever I'm going to use images uh, files in um, uh, Visual C Sharp, I need to add them to my project so that I can reference them in code. And I do that by going to the project menu and then going to the name of my project uh, properties and then I click on the resources tab and then I click on the drop down menu uh, and do add existing file then I'm gonna browse to that file now um, ideally you would have uh, taken those files and placed them in the folder that um, uh, contains your project um, so let me see if I can do that and you will have done that before you try to add them to your project. So let's see what we have here. Tic-tac-toe. Okay, so in this folder, um, at least I thought I had them. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there they are. Peach and strawberry. So I'm going to add both of those and the image should show up once you add them. Now let me go back to my code and now everywhere that I want to reference the peach and the strawberry and make sure that you've noted the name of the file. I'm sorry I forgot to mention before you try uh, referencing this in code. Um, I'm going to make a statement that is going to be something like this. So let me go to one of the event handlers for um, uh, where, let's see, uh, let's, I'll just do for button 00. zero. So I'm going to say button 00.backgroundImage zero, uh, button zero, zero dot background image equals, and then I'm going to say uh, Windows applicate forms application 3 or you would use whatever the name of your um, project is called and then dot and then properties dot resources and then I say dot and then let's see what was that uh, did my names have um, no they begin with lowercase letters okay so where was I Uh, oops, I guess I was in the wrong project when I was doing that before. So let's let me uh, do it in the right project. Um, and then what was it? Uh, you know, other windows. Sample tic tac toe is what it was called. Sample tic tac toe dot properties dot resources and then uh, dot strawberry so I'm gonna make uh, X be the strawberry and then um, I'm gonna make O be the peach now important thing to note is that in your code uh, the file that I used here was strawberry.jpg uh, when you reference um, that file in code, once you've added it to your uh, project, uh, you don't put .jpg. You just put the uh, first part of the name. Okay, so now let me, I'm going to need to add that to the other nine, um, or the other eight event handlers. So one's going to go there, there. Let's see. There. Hopefully I'm almost. 
else done. Two. All right, and now let me do the peach one as well. And um, as soon as I'm done, we'll give it a sh shot, see if it works. Okay, let's check it out. All right, I can see what I forgot to do. Um, I forgot to change, yeah, <laughs> uh, those numbers right there. so that they match And then as soon as I'm done with this, the last thing I want to do is get rid of the um, uh, X is and O references to the text property. So I'm just going to comment those lines of code out. Um, and commenting out, of course, means putting an apostrophe in front of the line so that it turns it into a comment. And I'm sorry, not an apostrophe, two forward slashes. So I need to comment out all of those lines. Okay, and now um, when you go, um, when you add an image to a picture box, um, you m should really consider, unless the picture box is the exact same pixel dimensions as the image, you should go to the properties and um, for background image layout, you want to check the stretch uh, option. That's going to stretch the image so that it matches, the fills the shape of uh, the picture box. All right, so now let's give it a shot. Uh, yep. Looks like I didn't do stretch for all of them. So let me just change all of them to stretch. All right, one last time. There, that's better. And now I have images. I have tic tac toe with strawberries and peaches. Hi there, I'm now going to show you how to um, ask the user uh, in a message box whether or not they want to start a new game so that as soon as somebody wins or it's a tie, uh, a message box pops up um, that the user clicks yes or no in um, to either start a new game or close the application. So um, let's get to it. All right, I'm going to go into uh, the code window. And then where I did have a message box that said uh, message box dot show 01, uh, and I increment um, the number of wins, I'm going to add uh, a second conditional statement that also references 
a message box and I copied and pasted this from another application um, that I have um, because otherwise um, I actually wouldn't know the um, all the syntax for it so basically it says if message box dot show would you like to start a new game new game message box buttons dot yes no message box icon dot question message box default button dot button two equals equals dialogue result dot yes reset game okay and then I'm going to say else um, uh, let's see let's do um, message box dot show thanks for playing and then this dot close uh, let's see I think oh I forgot the parentheses okay so I'm gonna add this statement to not only uh, in the check to see if X is one but also the check to see if O is one uh, and in the case of the tie as well and let's see if it works alright and if I say yes it should reset the game and I'm ready to start a new game excellent and then let's see what happens if the user clicks no alright and the application closes okay so that's a uh, good way um, so the user doesn't have to manually reset the game every time uh, somebody wins, uh, loses, or there's a tie.